Good morning, everyone. Hi, ev hi, everyone. I'm Drake. The three students that were randomly chosen to be added to our opening prayer are seventh grader Sonny Jones, S seventh grader Ashley Friedman, and eighth grader Ellen Otterbach. Now for the pledge. Hi, I'm Stephen. Please stand as I lead you in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the prayer. Hi again. Please bow your heads and pray with me. Dear God, please let Ellen, Ashley, and Sonny rely on your love as they are presented with challenges throughout the year. Thank you for... Thank you, God, for your patience and forgiveness. Help us to share the same patience and forgiveness with others. We know you want us to use you as an example of how we treat others. We pray that we can share forgiveness and let go of any anger in, your, in our hearts. your name we pray, amen. Have a great day, Ellen, Ashley, and Sunny. Now over to the anchors. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Naomi. Here are your middle school homeroom announcements from Monday, January 25th, 2016. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to Monday. Monday. Remember to go to the Westland website to get your tickets for Hot Mikado. I know the high school students would love to have you see the production next week. Get your tickets to see what this mixed up play is all about. It sounds like you will be entertained as you watch their performances. If you want to be on WWTV for February, please complete an, a, an application and turn it in before 3 o'clock this Friday, January 29th. You can get an application from Ms. Kelleher or the boss outside the middle school office. We are always looking for new people to join the team, so give it a try. Turn in your application early to make sure you get one of the 13 spots on the team. The new team will be announced the next week on Tuesday, February 2nd. If you have any questions, see Ms. Kelleher. We have three reminders that have deadlines coming up. First, turn in your entries for the writing contest before February 1st. You can email them to Ms. Green. You can also email pictures of art pieces that you've created to Ms. Kelleher. On your mark, get set, go! Second, middle school track season will start next week on Wednesday, February 3rd. All 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students are eligible to participate. It's a lot of fun and you can help make it a great season. Third reminder, student council homeroom reps. Remember, you have a full council meeting tomorrow at 7 a.m. If you are unable to attend, please email Ms. Lewis or Ms. Sanchez. Is it chicken noodle, tomato basil, loaded baked potato? Today we are starting our Wesley Middle School's Super Bowl food drive. It will go until February 5th. Norcross Cooperative Ministries is very low on food in their food pantry and would love your help in getting their shelves restocked. A bin will be outside of the middle school office to collect donations. You will see signs around the middle school with needed items. Please see Ms. Siren if you have any questions. Remember to encourage Josh Malat as he will, take an, he will be taking a written test for the Geography B this week that will determine whether or not he moves on to the state competition. Best of luck, Josh, and we are proud that you have gone this far. Good, Good luck, luck on the test. test. Now, now over for the birthdays. birthdays. Hi, I'm Bennett. Today we do not have any birthdays for today, but there were six birthdays over the weekend. On Saturday there were five birthdays, two eighth graders, Colin Condua and Anastasia Johnston, Se and two seventh graders, Shabon Davenport and Brett Lloyd, and one sixth grader, Drew Wren. On Sunday, eighth grader Carrington Duggan celebrated her birthday. We hope you had a great day and enjoyed your birthday. Now over for the do you know question. I'm Drake and I'm Brittany. With the upcoming Westland Food Drive and um, Blood Drive on Thursday, our Do You Know question will will relate to this topic. Do you know when someone donates blood at a blood drive, how much blood do they give? Is it A one quarter, B one pint, C two pints, or D? Is it different for every one that donates? If you answered B one pint, you are correct. When someone signs up to donate blood, the will give. They will give. 
they will give one pint of blood. Here are three facts about how the blood is used once it collects and why it is important to donate blood if you are eligible. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. The average red blood called transfusion requires approximately three pints. The increase in demand for blood far outpaces the increase in blood donations. Let's make the Wesleyan Blood Drive a success. Remind people to sign up and donate. Now over to today's lunch menu. Today's soups are loaded baked potato soup and creamy tomato soup. For the hot entree choices, you'll have spaghetti marinara, citrus grilled pork, and roasted sweet potatoes, steamed peas with tomatoes, and roasted budded mushrooms. For dessert today, we will have fresh baked cookies and ice cream novelties. Thanks for watching WWTV, and have a great day.